Hello everybody, the Fluffy Mane here and thank you so much for stopping by on this channel. In today's video we're going to open up something from the Pokemon TCG and it will be a beautiful Ailey to Trainer box. But before we get opening, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a like and leave the notification bell on to know when I will post some new Pokemon video content. Let's start opening. So we're going to open up and I hope that it does fit on the beautiful table because it is a little bigger than regular Elite Trainer boxes. And it also took a time to find these boxes because they were sold out very quickly as well, but they also got delayed, had delayed, after delayed, after delayed again because they were supposed to come out in November and they somewhere came out for me like in April or something like that, pretty late. So I've decided to open this beautiful box up right now. I have not seen a lot of videos, but I did see some and I am very happy that I even found boxes. So I'm very grateful. And for today's video, we're going to use the beautiful Eevee playmat oof, to support this big elite trainer box plus of Zamazenta. So I'm very happy this boxes are much heavier than normal because they contain instead of acrylic coins they have metal coins inside. I wanted to start off with beautiful Zamazenta and then here we can see Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box Plus Zamazenta. Normally you get like a guidebook of what you can find and I think in this guidebook that you can find in the book list the promo cards. So normally you get set cards but they have different sets in this box. So let's see on the back as well what poof it is really heavy so we can see here everything what is very beautifully there with a Zamazenta <laughs> sorry for the lighting you also have like much bigger box with Zacian and Zamazenta together and then this is like the little bigger elite trainer boxes and then you can find here so beautiful everything gold and then like the damage counters here so the poison and confused so it's very pretty and then with a Zamazenta coin the promo card of Zamazenta and some sleeves and then the beautiful deck box as well and then they shown here 12 booster packs so that's more than even like a special Ailey trainer box normal Ailey trainer boxes come with eight special Ailey trainer boxes come with ten and then this Ailey trainer box they decided to go with 12 and I think from what I understand it was from the sword and shield era until vivid voltage so let's see what we can find and then here at the sides you can really see it very properly so let's open up the box and then see what is inside so normally these boxes are not that heavy but wondering how heavy the metal coins will be that looks awesome has less glare Normally you would like these outer boxes, you could always see like the booster pack art, but this is like empty. But it does is pretty because it says about the Zamazenta, so I think that's very nice. And then here we have, ooh, beautiful player's guidebook. And then, ooh, this feels thinner than a normal Ailey Trainer Box guidebook. And there we see here the beautiful promo cards, yeah, until Aura Beetle. So that's pretty cool to see. If you are somebody who really also likes to collect all the promo cards, which I'm not even sure that I really keep up with everything, what they've released, because it's a lot, a lot. And it's also including just the single promo cards, which are rarer now for me to find as well. So it's pretty cool with the Eevees there, with Flareon and the Pikachu. And then nowadays we get more Eevees. Then we have like the double V box from Champion's Pet. This Charizard from the Ailey Trainer box of Champion's Pet. And then the tins and then so much priority. These promo cards as well was sometimes given in stores if you were going to buy some Pokemon TCG when it just came out they gave them as promotional things so I don't have this beautiful Charizard. It does look awesome though. And then that's everything in the guide so it's pretty cool to also see this player's guidebook so I do hope that they continue as well and hopefully I'm able in the future to get then some kind of other products too. And then look at wow! That's really pretty. It's so underestimated if you see it at other people and they, you see their reactions and they are all really very happy. And then when I look at my cell, it's awesome. That's amazing. Wow. Now with chilling rain coming on the corner, I do hope I can get these Elite Trainer boxes too. Because they are really, really pretty. Look at this. Very nice, pretty gold. And then there we have the beautiful Zamazenta. And then the half part of Samazenta, and then we have here the other half. 
start off with popping out the Pokemon trading card game rules. Then what do we have? It's not easy Pokemon. So that's it, the carbon that divides everything. Then I have here the Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box plus Upsama Santa Coat Card. There you all go. Thank you for your patience of watching. <laughs> start off by the four dividers. Oh, and that's really awesome. Yeah, they really paid attention to a lot of details. That's pretty cool. Then we got, ooh, I cannot choose on what to, what to see. We have the promo card of Zamazenta, full in gold. Amazing to look at this. That's amazing. I think that with um, Shining Face though, with the secret rares with the gold cards of Eternatus, I think it would look like this as well. I didn't pull a gold card, so I think it would be like this and it's awesome. That's cool. And then we have the sleeves too, that looks very pretty. Wondering if they're, ooh, gold from the back as well. That's awesome. Didn't notice they were gold from the back too. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Ah, they do have a regular transparent. And I was wondering if they were matte or that they were transparent. So they are transparent, which is good. Oh, that's awesome. I might want to use these sleeves even for like Japanese cards or my promo cards. So many things in this box. Apparently, some things got loose. So I do have some beautiful heavy metal coins. They're pretty heavy. We have the dice right here. They came out of the plastic, but that's okay. Look at that. But that does look pretty, pretty nice. And then the coin that came out of the plastic too. Oh, wow. That's awesome. It's really heavy. I'm not really sure if you can really see it well. That's awesome. So place it back in the plastic somewhere. And then we have 12 booster packs still to open. They gave us three of every pack, which is awesome. That will end up with Vivid Voltage. Should we end up with the Pikachu pack then there? Okay, so not really sure how we're going to start because it's a lot of pack and we still need to go through everything. So let's cut everything out first and then let's start opening. There, we trimmed out all of the booster packs and let's start opening. We'll place this beautiful Zama Zenta right here to keep us noticed that we are opening the Elite Trainer box. So let's start off with Sword and Shield with Snorlax. And if we do have something special, I give an additional extra code card away as well. So let's see. We start with Salazzle, Duck Trio, Pokemon Center Lady, Galarian Zigzagoon, Gossy Fleur. Silly Cobra, Yamper, Krabby, Reverse, ooh, Rare Orangaroo. Start off, ooh, Hollow Galarian Perserker with a Leaf Energy. That's awesome. Ooh, only need one sleeve. That's pretty. Already started with a Hollow Sword and Shield code card. There you go. Please share the code cards as well with other people too. And then let's open up the next pack, starting with a double, Duck Trio, Switch, Vulpix, Mona, Roselia, Tutel, Lipbuck. Oh, we got a reverse rare again, Boltund, and <gasps> Morpeko Femex! I'm not even sure that I have this one. This is from Sword and Shield, that's awesome. Lightning Energy, <laughs> look at that, that's cool. <laughs> So sleeve this beauty up in a sleeve. Unbelievable from the Elite Trainer box. Wow, that's awesome. That's a great pull. Wow, start off giving code card for Sword and Shield. And then because we pulled a VMAX more Teco or more Pico and then code card Hidden Fates. And then the last Sword and Shield, unbelievable pulls already. So that's awesome. And then let's go on the next pack, starting with Salazzle, Duck Trio, Pokemon Center Lady, Goldine, Roselia, Ghastly, Ponyard, Sizzlepeed, have a reverse common bell toy, and Senti Scorch. Oh, Sizzlepeed is right there. And then Senti Scorch with a leaf energy. 
So having code card for Sword and Shield. And then that is everything that Sword and Shield gave us. It's already pretty pulls and we still need nine packs to go. So let's go on. Go on with a Rebel Clash. Would love to see the gold cards there too. It would be awesome. Start off with Heracross, Electrode, Beware, Dream Big, <laughs> Helioptile, Honech, Litwick, Galarian Corsola, Pinnacle, oh, Reverse Rare again, Trevenant, and Scissor. Yeah, my dream was too big <laughs> with a fire energy. But still, it's a beautiful Scissor. Code card Rebel Clash. And then let's go on and then start with the next Rebel Clash pack. So next on, go with Hallucha, Morgrem, Medicham, Glarian Corsola, Toxel, Glarian Mr. Mime, Snover, Pidoff, Reverse, Meow, and <laughs> Happy Ludicolo with a fighting energy. So nothing really special in Rebel Clash, although they gave us a rare reverse. There we go, Sword of Shield Rebel Clash. And then the last one. And then let's see what we can find here. Starting off with Heatmore, Morpeko, Scoopopnet, Barboach, Squofet, Applin, Temple, Shrubbish, got a reverse Uncommon Morgram, and oh, Stone Journer Hollow with the Lightning Energy. That's pretty cool. We at least have a Hollow from Rebel Clash. There we go. That's pretty. Got a code card for Rebel Clash. There you go. And then we start on with Darkness Ablaze. Will the dream be granted with a Charizard? <laughs> Let's see what we can pull here. We got Hiding Energy, but for now we did pull at least from every set something, so that's pretty nice. So we have a Parasect, Toxapex, Aeron, Rookedy, Wishiwashi, Pansage, Tauros, got a Reverse Common Cufant, and just a regular Swanna with a Lightning Energy. There you go, Darkness Ablaze. And then let's go on with the second pack of Darkness of Blaze. And then let's see what our average is going to be later on. When we opened up everything, we have Toxapex there, Big Parasol, Sheenotic, Larvitar, Grimer, Galarian Darumaka, <laughs> Centret, Rowlet, got a Reverse Electric, and. Ah, beautiful Del Caddy with a water energy. So I think the Darkness Ablaze is a little bit behind. There we go. Code card Darkness Ablaze. And then let's check on the last one. Start off by Rose, Vanillish, Potty Geist, Toxel, Sinesty, Carablast. Meltan, Marini, Reverse, Ooh, Uncommon Leapard or Leapard, and that's amazing, Hollow Suicune, and then Leaf Energy. So even Darkness Ablaze gave us a Hollow at least, so that's pretty nice. There we go, Code Guard, Darkness Ablaze. And then we only have Vivid Voltage left. And then let's start with Celebi first. So I think we did pretty good. So I hope that the last three packs can give us as well that streak as well. So let's see. Start off with Shuckle, Cremorant, Drone Rotom, Riolu, Sandile, Wilmer, Weedle, Beldum. We got a reverse common whooper and we got just a regular mud steel with a lightning energy. Got this code card for vivid voltage. There you go. And then let's open up the next vivid voltage and then we're almost at the end. My question of the day is were you guys able to get these boxes too and were they delayed like mine? So let me all know. And then we start with Nessa, beautiful Nessa. Nuzleaf. Wash Water Energy, Chatot, Joltik, 
cottony, mud bray, slugma. We got a reverse, ooh, uncommon Carolis, and just the fortress rare <laughs> with a leaf energy. <laughs> there we go. Reminded me just a little bit of one of the shorts. Code card vivid voltage. There you go. Or was it with a darkness energy? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> then the last one. Let's check on. Start off with Swoobat, Excadrill, Macargo, Vanfi, Duskull, Electric, Pineco, Mudbray. Reverse is a uncommon Delmice. We ending off this video with something. Pikachu! We do have a Pikachu! With a darkness energy. Oh my gosh, we ended up with a Pikachu. At least we have a Pikachu. I forgot my Pikachu sleeves, but for now, normally I place Pikachu in my Pikachu sleeves. But just for now, place this beauty up in a blue sleeve. That's awesome. Still ending off this video with something nice. There we go. Code card, Vivid Voltage. And then because we have a beautiful Pikachu, going to give this code card of Sun and Moon. So let's check on the recap uh, to see what we have pulled in 12 booster packs. So to start off this video, we have seven regular rares. We have Fortress, Mudsdale, Delcaddy, Swana, Ludicolo, Scizor, Senti Scorch, and then we have our reverse rares. We pulled Leapard, Trevenant, Bolton, and Orangaroo. And then we had some common and uncommons as well. And yeah, uncommon Delmice. Then we add our hollows, which was Galarian Perserker, Galarian, uh, Galarian Stone Journer, regular Stone Journer, and Hollow Suicune. Then we pulled Morpeko V Max and a Pikachu V. So that's pretty cool to have these two pools from the 12 booster packs. So I think overall we did very good. So I am very happy with the pools that we had. I'm very happy also with the promo card here as well and with the beautiful sleeves and anything that it contains in this Ailey Trainer Box Plus of Zama Santa. So if you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to let me know what you think of these videos. Also, please leave some comments below. I really like to communicate with all of you. And then I really want to thank you all so much for watching. And then I hope to see you all back in my next video. Thank you all so much.